Pemirsa Menteri Pendidikan Inggris Gavin Williamson mengkonfirmasi bahwa sekolah dan perguruan tinggi di Inggris akan mengakhiri kebijakan pembentukan kelompok belajar dan isolasi mandiri. Ini menyusul akan diakhirinya pembatasan COVID-19 oleh Perdana Menteri Inggris Boris Johnson. Lebih dari 640 ribu anak-anak Inggris tidak masuk sekolah minggu lalu akibat kebijakan pembatasan COVID-19 yang membatasi jumlah interaksi antara kelompok murid dan anggota staf untuk menahan wabah virus. Mulai 16 Agustus, anak-anak sekolah tidak lagi diharuskan untuk melakukan isolasi mandiri setelah kontak dekat dengan seseorang yang dites positif terkena virus corona. Millions of children and young people have been back in the classroom since March the 8th, learning with their friends and teachers. This is hugely valuable for their well-being as well as for their education. I also make clear that I do not think that it is acceptable that children should face greater restrictions over and above those of wider society, especially since they have given up so much to keep older generations safe during this pandemic. So having balanced the risks, I'm pleased to tell members across the House that key restrictions on education and childcare will come to an end as we move to step four. Though keeping children in consistent groups was essential to control the spread of a virus when our population was less vaccinated, we recognise that the system of bubbles and isolation is causing disruption to many children's education. That is why we'll be ending bubbles and transferring contract, contact tracing to the NHS test and trace system for early years settings, schools and colleges. Where there are outbreaks, schools and colleges may be contacted by NHS Test and Trace and they will also work with local health teams as they currently do now. We're also setting out new rules that mean that from the 16th of August, children will only need to isolate if they have tested positive for COVID-19. Williamson juga mengkonfirmasi bahwa masker dan jarak sosial tidak lagi diperlukan di sekolah-sekolah ketika Inggris memasuki tahap pelonggaran penguncian yang saat ini dijadwalkan berlangsung hingga 19 Juli. Dari Inggris, Kontributor Nusantara TV melaporkan.